Hi guys, this is App Unwrapper. I'm here with Circulus and I'm going to show you how to get through the game. Enjoy! Alright, so we need a password. This is the password, four symbols. And here's the key for it. So if you find those four symbols up here, on these, you should get 3142. So enter that as the password. And that's it. All right, tap on the box. Well, now I know who put this box here. And you're just going to pack everything in there. I need to find a new job. I wonder if anyone is hiring. All right, so notice this on the poster, this link. They're hiring. So we're gonna go to circulus.co slash apply. Open the web view. Autofill. All right, so I'm going to quickly solve these for you so we can get a high score. So it's this one. This one has a few options. I'm going to do tinsel. It's this one. So you're adding the last two numbers together. So you get 34. And this last one is trial and error. So it goes this, 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 this. Forty nine seventy one is my score. I have been having such memory issues lately. Good thing I can save my notes on my device. All right, so that was a clue to check the notes on your device. But first, let's read this. It says, the altitudes. Altitude residents have been assigned a mailbox by combining the first initial of their last name with their birthday, day, and month in the following format. L-M-M-D-D. -D. To open your mailbox, enter your four-digit code followed by the pound sign. So first we need her last name and her birthday, which is easy enough. We know it's Trouser. And you can get it all from this one email. So her last name would, her, the first letter of her last name would be T and her birthday is 0813 or August 13th. Um, so if you now go to the mailboxes, you want T for trouser, 0813. So that's this one down there. You can't see what I tapped on. Um, 
it's right here like in the center of the screen almost uh, so to enter your mailbox enter your four digit code followed by the pound sign so let's open her notes and it says mailbox code one fourth it's an intentional typo two second five first seven third so that tells you um, if you put them in order you get five two seven one okay so let's enter five two seven one pound grab the mail okay if you want you can I never was a big fan of abstract art tap on the art. I always liked this one it makes me feel at home. I just got to my door. I don't need to leave yet. Okay, tap on the door. So this is like mastermind. You need to enter four numbers, see which ones are right, and then just keep going. You have unlimited tries. It's going to be different each game, though. So let's try one, two, three, four. So two is right, and three is somewhere else in the in the sequence um one and four are not in it so let's try um three two five six so three is still in the wrong place but we know six is also so let's try six two seven three Six, two, okay, so six, two, and three are right, so six, two, eight, three, no, six, two, nine, three, six, two, zero, three, that's it, okay. We've got some mail. So this will get added to your phone. So will this. By the way, if you want, you can read through the texts with mom. It's up to you to explore. I'm just showing you how to get through things. So, got an email. Tap the link and download. Go. Alright, I forgot to show you, you also have this takeout menu. You can go to this link if you want. All these things are little extra stuff you can do on your own. This has a link on the back also. Um, it's up to you if you want to go to them. I'll show you here. Oops. 
Oh wait, city parks. Nope. What did I do wrong? Oh, dot gov. There you go. She can read through this, meet the birds. And it can also go to Lucky Chinese. This may be important later, I'm not sure, but right now the website's under construction. All right. Connect with Jay. Jay's not nice. All right. So update data center flagging code. So tap this little arrow to expand this. So the code needs to be updated so that only 30 or less files and only 25 megabytes or less can be accessed in a week. So let's change it. Submit changes for review. Error. Suppress details. Attempt bypass. All right, so this is fairly simple. Use the little arrow to change the key, sort of, to match the hole. And then press the check. It's going to be a little different, possibly. Um, I've gotten different ones each time I played, but it's not too difficult. And then this rotates. All right, new app. Let's answer Ali first.
Whenever I'm ready to meet Allie for coffee, I can head out my apartment door. All right, we're going to do that soon first. Let's answer Jay. All right. We have a new app, Interceptor, a new file, data access logs, that's not it, that's it. You can just close these. All right, now let's, before we do all that, let's head out the door. Hi, Amanda. It's nice to see you. Nice to meet you. Huh? Oh, right. Nice to meet you, too. I'm so sorry that you have to work with Jay. He's been working at Circulus longer than anyone in that department, so he's convinced he knows everything. Thanks for getting me those files. Oh, no problem. I have to look out for the other people there now that I actually have some influence. How did you get promoted? I wasn't very good at cybersecurity, but my task manager noticed I had a talent for organization and writing, so he recommended me to administration. It's a lot of paperwork, but I feel like I'm making a difference. This coffee is really good. I know! I'm so happy to finally see you again. Oh, no. I need to go. I'll see you later. Notice she said again. Things are weird in this game. Alright, so on iPad it's a little cut off, but there's a note on the table that she left behind. Allie sure left in a hurry. And she left behind this note. Wait. It looks like there's a new piece of mail in my stack. How did that get there? To tap on the mail. Look at both sides. All right, there are clues on both sides. All right, so now let's get back to the puzzles. Um, open your phone again. Let's work on Interceptor first. So we're gonna tune this slowly slide this paying attention when it lights up you're going to be looking for a dot it only shows when it's light there it is so just line that up and then tune in okay now drag the X to calibrate. You want a circle. All right, so you see this little question mark in a diamond? Close this. Look at the new Abe's postcard. Not, um, the note, aviary note. So if you look at the top one, there's also a little question mark. If you look at it on the table, it might be better. You see the question mark in the diamond? So that's the clue that you need to use that aviary. Aviary is the word you need. And this is also part of the same puzzle. So first, okay, so a V R E. All right, so now 
you're going to use the other side of it to highlight the right words, uh, the right letters, so they make th up three words. So we're going to start, the easiest one is caged. It has to be in order. So follow, all it shows you is like um, which ones are solid, which ones are an outline, and which ones have nothing. They don't tell you which letters specifically, just the spots that they're in. But this spells caged. And you can see down there, we just formed the word caged. So let's work on birds next. And it's going to be B, I, R, D, S. And now we have to work on flocking. So you're going to tap them three times to make it, to get into the right order. F L O C K I N G. I hear knocking at my door. I wonder who that could be. Okay, so now we have when accessing data, please encrypt your names using rote thirteen, then make every other letter a number. Okay, so let's ignore the knock at the door for now. We're gonna go open the data access log. And there's three names. The most important one is this one that's flagged. But it says the name is X22, A20, S22, F21, R5. So again, look what this said. Encrypt your name using row 13 and make every other letter a number. So every other letter is a number. So what we're going to do is install this decode app and write down the numbers alone. So it was 22, 20, 22. 21, 5. And now change this to A1 to Z1. And now you get VTVU. So let's put that. Now let's change this to row 13. So VTVU. So you're going to inject those letters in between the other letters. So it's XASFR. If you took out the numbers, you got XASFR. So let's inject V, then A, then T, then S, then V, then F, then U, then R, then E. And now you see it says Kingfisher, okay? So let's do the same thing for the other two. Let me. So the other two, one is E2Z, uh, E2O, yeah, that's an O, E2O 22A. So again, 2 and 22. And you get BV. Okay, so we have BV and the others were So E E B O V A E B O V A
and you get Robin okay so we have Kingfisher and Robin and now let's look at it again so the last one is J5 R1 so 5 you already know is E and 1 is A it's the number the letters of the alphabet so it's J E R A so J E R A Okay, so you get Wren. So it's Wren, Robin, and Kingfisher. All right, remember that. We'll come back to it. Um, open the soar. Let's make this a little bigger. All right, so you're just going to figure out which letters. You just have to play around to get actual words. But I'll fill it in for you. Oops. It's they will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. All right, we have these two shapes. Now go back to Interceptor. And after you solved it, you should see these two shapes at the top, the circle and the square. Pay attention to where the lines are. And now you're gonna copy those shapes here. Okay, so the top dot creates a line and the bottom dot rotates. This one you just need to create lines. And then press the middle dot to pull them together. All right, we can't solve this yet. There is a link for an anagram, or nonograms rather. It explains what nonograms are. Um, that's for a puzzle we'll come to soon. Okay. Flip this over. And now what are our names? It was Ren, Robin, King, Fisher. All right, we can't solve this yet, so let's close our phone and tap on the door. A box? But from who? So we got a new box. This is a nonogram. So you basically just follow the numbers on the outside to fill in that many boxes. So the easiest ones to fill in first are nines because that's every tile on that line or row. So there's nine. Now for seven and one, we know we need a, a space between them. So seven, one, there you go. Makes sense, hopefully. You may have played other games like this. There's plenty. All right, so we have here three and one. Here we have one, three, three. So we can know we could fill that in. Here's three and three. Here's another three. This is another three. This is another three. This is two and a one. And this is three. We're almost there. So this is one, one, three, one, and there we go, that's it. Am I supposed to be able to read this? It seems like someone doesn't want me to, but why would they give it to me? Grab all this. Of course, it's the aviary again. Marbles? What am I supposed to do with these? All right, remember this. 
pattern, okay? So this is a maze. It helps if you have a second device and a screenshot and you, that you can look at. Um, you can open this up and basically the SOAR app, you're gonna follow a ma the maze to the exit. So you can't see it on the same screen, but if you have a second screen, you can. I'm just gonna show you, it goes this way. Okay, so that side's done. Flip around. Notice it says before blackout, okay? And we just got an article. The Bird Research News. It has censored words. So, before blackout. So look for the words before the censorship starts. So for the first one, you get search, then you get lead, and then you get children. So search lead children, the lead can also be led the way it's spelled, okay? Just remember that. So open that up again. So search, you're going to choose the magnifying glass. For lead, it's the periodic table, PB is lead. And then children is down here. All right, urgent message. First, let's close this. Now well, it's important. So obviously 1987 is important, right? All right, let's click on this link. It says this page intentionally left blank. And if you scroll to the bottom, it says, by writing this page is intentionally left blank, the page can technically, technically no longer be considered blank, not to mention the secret. The secret is if you hold on the screen, it says triple tap. So triple tap. All right, so now we have this bird in a square, okay? Oops, I didn't mean to close the whole phone. Now we have another urgent message. All right, tap on the link. It should, it should be updating it, hold on. There we go, all right, update. Again, this page has no content this time. If you hold, you can select how many times I have to tell you nothing special will happen if you keep coming back to this website. I might have missed one of the messages because I refreshed. going. All right, so now it says swipe left. So let's swipe left. And now we have another bird, the shape in the center. But if we keep going, we can get an achievement. Keep going. There you go. I don't know why that's the only achievement that came through this playthrough. So you got an achievement. All right, so now we have the three birds. Okay. Um, next, 
Let's use the clue from the email we got, which was 1987, remember? 1987 to solve this. So we need to enter 1987, but the arrow at the top is gonna keep changing direction, which changes which location those numbers are actually in. So the first one is pointing up, so it's one. It's gonna be different for each person, but now you see it's pointing to the right, so you kind of have to turn your head and still try to figure out which number right now would be nine if it was pointing that way. So for me, it's seven here. And now for eight, it's gonna be six. And then for seven, it's gonna be one. So 1987, there we go. It's a little hard to explain. Hopefully I did a good job, I don't know. Wait, is that my apartment? Whoa, what was that? Close this. There's a new box. All right. So, in case you don't remember, Let's go look at the three shapes again. So we have the aviary note. This is inside a circle, right? Then we have Oops. We have this bird in a square. And this bird in a triangle. So those are the three clues. You need to match them to their shapes. All right. So let's first set it up. Start with the circle and the triangle. So the circle goes to this one. It's, I'm going to push it out after, okay? The triangle goes, points this direction. The square is already right now on the right spot. But we need to push the other two out. So press the little lock in t at the top and then press the switch. And now push those two out. Press this little dark spot. Okay, so now we have a lock and a button that rotates two of them. So let's rotate these and then press the lock it shows you which ones are locked in place. So we want those two to be locked in place, the ones we already solved. There you go. All right, this one looks tricky, but it's really not so bad. Um, you're gonna tap the circle button three times to slow it down. Three. The square five times. and the triangle twice, and they line up. Now press the two black, the, the dark spots over there, and press the square button. So now you have to rotate the two pieces, the two rings to make them line up. It's gonna be a bird. Wait, what happened? I was... There we go. No, what happened? Huh? There we go. Oh, it's upside down. I forgot. All right, so yeah, you do it upside down and then it rotates back up the other way. Close it now. Press that button again. So now we have three numbers, XII, XXXI, and XVI. XII is 12. XXXI is 31 and XVI is 16. And you can see the dots underneath tell you the order. So you're gonna rotate the coin first to 12, take your finger off, then 31, then lift your finger again, and then 16 and lift your finger. So here we go. So 12, 
Oops. Thirty one. I hope that worked. Oops. I can't really see because of my finger. That worked. Okay. Press the button. Untwist this. Oh, really? I didn't get that from the box crashing through my window. That's all that's in the box. Okay. New notification. All right, so you're going to choose three different bird feathers. One circular circle. All right, let's get rid of these these notifications, and now we should automatically, or not so automatically, tap on the door to go to the lab. All right, so you can see behind her reflection some numbers. 42, 21, 53, 17, 35, 23, 29, 16, and 4. Now, if you tap on this, it shows you those numbers added up in each column. So the first, the numbers on the left side all add up to 88. The numbers down the middle add up to 72. And the numbers on the right add up to 80. We need them all to equal 80. So if you look at that again, if you swap out 29 and 21, then 42, 17, and 21 equals 80, and 29, 35, and 16 equal 80. All right, so what we're going to do is press this button to swap with this one, and now they're all 80. I'm in. All right, tap on the computer. So ask for a password in. So we need to solve the grid security. Uh, you could see most of it from this view, so let's work on it. It's the vials on the right side. We'll check out the bottom after, once we fill these in. All right, let's close this. So the bottom row is two green. All right, so the password hint is a second place medal and a neon open sign. So second place medal is silver and neon. Neon, I'll show you why. So tap on the periodic table. Of the a periodic table? I remember this from high school chemistry. That's all I remember from that class, though. So you want to find silver which is AG, or 47, and neon, which is any, or 10. So find those on there. Let's, let me see if I could use, oh, I could use this. So it's right there. Uh, AG, and any up there. Okay, so now 47, 10. All right, so now we need a temperature. There we go, new notification. So, 
Derek told her how to how to solve the next puzzle. So it needs to be set to a specific temperature and degrees, and it doesn't matter whether it's Fahrenheit or Celsius. So the, tr so the main clue is it doesn't matter wh which one it is. So what you need to either know or Google to find out is that there is one temperature that is the same in Fahrenheit or Celsius, and that's negative 40 degrees. So let's close this. Set it to negative 40. There we go. Now sequence. Compare. Aha! Whoa! All three are perfect matches. I guess now I know that the aviary is at the city park. But how was it possible that all three feathers were exact matches for the ones on file? Good question. Very strange indeed. All right. I guess I'll just wait here until my ride arrives. All right, so that's the end, but there's one more achievement to get. So notice Amos 35. You can Google that inside. So you could see the achievements. You would get the vandal achievement for that. It didn't show for some reason. Sometimes the achievements come in again even though I have them and sometimes not. So I don't know. But from this video, if you followed it, you should have all the achievements. And that is the end of the current content of Circulus. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Bye-bye.